Hi guys, it's Steve from Document Marked and Robot. In this short video, I would like to show you how to set up the campaigns within the Document Marked and Robot poster software. This software is the second application that comes when you install Document Marked and Robot. If you haven't started up Document Marked and Robot poster before, we do need to set the configuration settings if we wish to use Auto Capture Solver. Within this configuration screen, we have a number of capture providers we can use. We simply add in the capture provider username and password and click the test for the service. And as you can see, we get an indication of the balance that we have left for that service. You can set manual capture, which means the captures themselves will pop up on the screen and you simply type in the capture value. Though this is more error prone than using a capture service itself. Once the settings have been set and tested, note the verified, it was verified okay. You simply click the save button and all the data is saved. When it comes to creating a new campaign, we simply click the new campaign button and our campaign name in. We'll call this one Steve Test Campaign. Click save. We have now created our new campaign. Within the general information section itself, you can add in first name, last name, our own username and password or we can randomly generate these. Note we can add characters to the end or numbers to the end of the username. I'll add numbers, generate. As you can see, we will have numbers appended to the end of our username. It's in the email information section. We have a number of providers. We can use free emails or we can use our own domain emails. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose live.com. I'll enter my information and I'll be straight back. I've now entered my information in the email information section. If you add your own domain in, there's information on this within the manual itself. So please refer to the manual for the settings that you need to set up. We now need to verify email settings. As we can see, it's verified OK. So now we simply choose some sites. I'll choose Scribed, Docstop, and Calamio. And simply click Create Account. As you can see, these accounts have been processed and created. That's how accounts are now created. We now need to verify the emails themselves. As some send out links by email that you must verify before you can use the account. As you can see, we've got Docstop, Calamia being verified successfully. We can now save our data. We have a no verify and a save campaign. The save campaign will re-verify the username and password on save. If you do not wish this to happen, or you know all the passwords are valid, Simply click Save No Verify, and that's our data saved. And that's the account creation process. Note in this area, if you get any capture service provider errors, this means that the service provider whose auto capture solvent is is normally either under load, you've run out of credits or their failing captures at that time. So either change to manual capture or change to a different capture provider. As we can see in this screen, we have all our campaigns in this list. If we double click the campaign, it takes us back to the 
create new accounts area. So while we have the campaign selected, we simply select the auto poster to auto post out our PDFs we generated in the auto PDF generator application. The first thing you will notice in this area is that there is only three accounts shown. Only accounts that have valid accounts against them will be shown in this area. So if you sign up for all the accounts themselves, all of the accounts will be shown. In this area, I will show how to schedule a single file post. So I first select a file. I've selected a file on Nintendo Wii's keyword. I'll use Nintendo Wii, comma, Nintendo Wii system. And this will be used as the tags and keywords when the file itself is uploaded. Title, I can put a plain title in, that, that will be used in all sites. Or we can use a spinnable title. So I'll add in Nintendo Wii Systems Guide or Nintendo Wii Guide for users. So this title will spin and on the sites we'll either get Nintendo Wii Systems Guide or Nintendo Wii Guide for users. You simply select the sites select a category games because we I'll use lifestyle and I'll use video games as you can see on on this side what I will do is I'll uncheck Calamio and show you how to schedule that posting instead. So we'll just do a plain posting to Scribed and Docstop. So we start posting. As we can see, the process has started for these two sites. Scribed is complete. Note on this screen, we also have a, a stop button. We can click the stop button and the process will stop. As we can see, the process was stopped. Scribe uploaded. Docstop was in the process, which I've stopped. Now I will show how to schedule this file to be posted. So we choose Calamio, Schedule. In the schedule, we can call this a name that we remember. I'll just call it Calamio Schedule Demo. And we'll set this for three minutes, two minutes, and save. And that's the schedule saved. If we now exit back to the main area, we can see we've actually got the schedule has been saved. Note that the status is shown as not started. Once this has been executed, the status will show as complete. So while we're waiting for this to run, we also have a links manager. So we click the campaign links manager and this shows us the links that have been curated for the uploaded files. These are not the links in the documents. These are the links on the sites themselves. So we can select these, we can validate these to ensure they are actually valid links. They have not been removed. And we can also add new links, delete links, and export links to file. We can export only the URLs, or we can export the URL plus the additional data. So let's validate this URL. As we can see, it's validating the URL. The URL has turned green which means it is valid. If it turns red, it means the link is invalid. Now let's check to see if our schedule has executed. As you can see, this hasn't started yet. You can see now that this process 
is now complete and this file has been uploaded. If we open the link manager again, we can see we now have the new link for the new file we have just uploaded. We can also modify schedules. Click on the schedule link, schedule a button, and we can modify the schedule and save it or we can delete it. And that is basically the posting module for Document Marketing Robot.